Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. <laughs> hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Ohima. Welcome. And if you are a returning subscriber, hey, I saw the whole KVD Vegan Good Apple Foundation situation. I don't, I, I never saw it on TikTok. I did hear about the whole KVD Vegan um, Foundation Balm and I wanted to go ahead and try it out, okay? The problem is, whenever I went to Sephora's website, they have a shape finder. It works kind of like foundation, where you go in, you put in your, you know, what foundation you're currently wearing, and then they're gonna check the new foundation you're trying to wear to see if they can find a shade that will kind of mimic the shade you're already wearing. Okay? I went in with the KVD, um, true portrait foundation. I chose this as one of the shades that I currently wear. You guys have seen me talk about this foundation. I actually really love how deep the shade is. It matches the deeper parts of my face. It also kind of balances out my neck, my face, and my chest. Put this foundation in there. This is, this is the shade 96. How did the shade finder tell me that I don't have a shade in the good apple foundation balm? So then I went in with the next foundation and it's told me I don't have a foundation match. And I'm like, how do I have a foundation match in True Portrait? I also have a foundation match in the Locket foundation. So how come I don't have a foundation match in this particular foundation launch? Okay, so based on my foundation search, I decided to not even bother with this foundation because there isn't going to be a shade for me. The pictures I saw on the websites were not translating into something that I thought would match me, especially the shade finder can't find it. I'm not gonna buy it and end up not having a good shade in the foundation shades, okay? So I've actually discounted it. A lot of you have been wanting me to try it out to see if it's something that we can wear or if it's something that, you know, works for me and if it's something that you can use for yourself. I totally discounted the foundation until I saw Nima's video. I mean, as soon as she posted the video, I thought, wait, if she has a shade, then I could probably have a shade too. So after watching her video, I went in and I placed an order on Sephora's website. The good thing right now is the four deepest shades are not sold out. I don't know if it's because of the, the mishap with the shade finder. People can't really find the right shade for them, especially if you have dark skin like mine. You don't want to buy the wrong shade and have to go through the hassle of having to return it. I highly doubt that Sephora is going to see this. I highly doubt that KVD is going to see this, but if KVD happens to be watching this video, you guys need to figure out a way to make the shade finder correspond with the, correspond with the shades that you have on the website. Because right now, if I hadn't seen Nima post it, I wouldn't have even thought about whether or not the shade that I picked up would work for me. I don't know how I feel about it. I don't know if it's like a, like, it may have been an oversight. It may have been just the shade finder glitching, but it just, it didn't work. I. Now, I was able to buy one, and I only bought one because the rest of the shades that I was looking at, the undertones kind of looked wonky on the website. I didn't want to buy it and have to waste the time to have to return it. So I bought one shade that I hoped will work really, really good for me, okay? So, in today's video, after that really long rant, <laughs> In today's video, we are going to be taking a look at KVD Vegan Beauty Good Apple Skin Perfecting Foundation Balm. So, if you want to see which shade I got, and if you want to see whether or not this shade will work for us, then keep on watching. So I'm just gonna give you all the facts that I'm gathering on this foundation. The foundation retails for $38, gives you a fast, lightweight, full coverage with a fresh matte finish. The shade matching tip is some shades look different in the compact than on the skin. Use the photos of the shade on the skin to help you pick the right shade. It says, it says it's infused with apple extract and sodium hyaluronate to help nourish and hydrate skin. It's creamy, non-comedogenic, and it minimizes the appearance of pores for a smooth, healthy look. Average recyclable packaging, long wearing, matte finish, vegan, and, and hydrating. On Sephora's website, it says it's a buildable, full coverage, hydrating balm with a lightweight, long wear formula and a fresh matte finish. 
Let me show you the foundation that I got in so we can check it out. This is the KVD Vegan Good Apple Foundation Balm. Take it out. Take it out. I'm excited to try this. Hopefully the shade I picked actually works for me because not being able to find my shade in the foundations was really... um. So this is the packaging on the foundation. It's a circle, clear, see-through. Feels very, I want to say 80s, this crystal look. And this is what the foundation looks like. Okay, I got the shade 98. This is the deepest shade that they have. I really didn't know if this was going to work for me, but once you open it, the bottom is very flat. And it feels like something you can literally slip into a makeup bag. Probably really good for traveling. Um, so let's go ahead and swatch this and see what it looks like. I already swatched it in bathroom light. It looked good in the bathroom light. Okay, you guys, so this is what that foundation looks like. You guys, this is... It's impressive. Okay? It, it's, it looks impressive. It... I feel like you can't even see it on my face. It looks very, very good. I only got the one shade, so I don't have to swatch a bunch of shades for you because the shade after this was looking very kind of weird and I didn't want to even try to swatch it. So I got the last shade um, and it actually looks very good on. So I'm just gonna do a nice quick eye look. I'm gonna do a beautiful, simple yellow eye look. I also thought about doing a purple liner. We'll see how that goes. I think my shirt is like typically influencing my eyeshadow choices today. Are you wearing a jacket? Okay, you can go. Okay guys, so what I'm going to do is prep my eyes for eyeshadow. If you haven't yet seen my eyeshadow prep video, I will link that down below in the description so you can check it out. So you can get like a beautiful color payout on your shadows. If you like color shadows, that is. If you don't like color shadows, you can still follow it. Just use darker colors, okay? I'm going to be using Ace Butte palette. This is the Slice of Paradise palette. And I said... And I said I was going to use yellow, so I'm gonna be going in with the shade Daffodil. I do like how it showed up very, very nicely on the base. I'm gonna go in with the shade Honeyberry, and Honeyberry is a purple shade. I'm gonna place it directly above. So I'm gonna go back in and blend the yellow into the purple. If you haven't yet seen how I blend unblendable shades together, definitely check it out, but I'm gonna use I'm going to put the link down below as well so you can see it, but I'm just going to lightly blend this purple and lime green together. So you guys, the time has not come to try out the KVD Vegan Beauty Good Apple Full Skin Perfecting Foundation Balm. I'm going to go ahead and prep my skin using the oil controlling matte moisturizer first. So I've been going in with the moisturizer. Next I'm going to go in with the e.l.f. matte oil controlling primer. Once again, if you need to see my review of these products, definitely check down below for the full video. I'm gonna go in with the Tatcha Silk Powder. I went a bit crazy with the powder, I know that, okay? I, I agree, I went a bit crazy. But let's go ahead and try this thing out because, you know, I'm using the Juvia's Place Flat Buffer Brush. I'm going to put it into the product. I am going to swirl the brush around. And it definitely covered the tip of this thing because it was white before. Okay. 
and I almost didn't try this product. I went back in, I just did a few more dips. Okay, you guys, um, I was definitely, well, should I say, I am definitely surprised. Um, it's deep, yes. I mean, I wish it were a little bit deeper. Um, I wish it was as deep as the Deep 96. I feel like as soon as you put it on, it just like becomes like a soft matte, kind of like a soft focus kind of foundation. Okay, you guys, so this is my finished look trying out the new KVD Vegan Good Apple Skin Perfecting Foundation Balm. I said it right. I said it right. So this is... <laughs> Sometimes these products have such weird names, like I can't, like it, it's a lot, okay? But this is my finished look trying out the new KVD Vegan Good Apple apple skin perfecting foundation balm this is a cream to powder foundation through and through it's cream in the package when you put it on mattifies down turns a nice beautiful matte soft matte finish cream to powder foundation so this is it for me the foundation looks really really good right now um it literally looks like skin. I am not upset with it. I am not upset with my eye look. I feel like my shirt influenced my eye look and I really love this shirt like a lot. Like you're gonna be seeing it a lot. I've been trying to contain myself to not wear it, but I really love the colors in there. They bring me joy and value. So, yeah, this is it for me. Lashes are from Bonsi Beauty. I don't know if I'm gonna do a wear test with this look. Okay, so that's it for me. Um, let me know down below in the comments what you think about it. Let me know if you're going to be picking up this foundation, especially if you're my skin tone and you didn't really think that you were going to get a match in the foundation. Okay, so I finished my my look at 2.30. It is now 6.30. Yeah, so it's four hours since I finished my makeup and this is what my face looks like. So we the ones that watch the e.l.f. Matte Oil Controlling Collection video know that this is nothing for four hours and... I feel like, I literally feel like I can attribute how oily my skin looks to my skin prep procedure. If you want to see how I prep my skin, which I showed you guys, but the if speci specifically, if you want to see the products that I use to prep my skin, definitely check down below because on any regular day at four hours, my face will look a little bit more oily than this. Um, but I suspected, I suspected ever since I did that video with the e.l.f. products that whatever the hell I did, my foundation tests were always going to come out looking flawless because of the skin prep products that I use, okay? So, that being said, this is what my face looks like four hours into this make wear test. I have oily skin. I have very oily skin. So, you can see that, like, right now, it just looks like my glow is starting to come through. Like, you can, it looks like my face is oily and I can see the oils on my hand, but the makeup hasn't moved on my face, except right here where I just <laughs> put the oil, the lip gloss and had to wipe it off. Uh, but besides that, this is what my face looks like. I was taking a nap, so I didn't really do any kind of activity. I just literally laid down like this on the couch and I was out. <laughs> I have nothing else to say. It doesn't look bad, it doesn't look broken up. The makeup is not like pooled around my nose. 
my skin still looks flawless the highlighter is still showing through even the blush is still showing through and it's been four hours of course right here it's missing because i swiped at it um that's about it i'm gonna use the elf matte blotting mix I just love how quickly this product gets my face looking matte. Like, it gets my face looking really, really matte, really, really quickly. So this is it for me showing you guys the KVD Vegan Beauty Skin Perfecting Foundation Balm. This is a cream to powder foundation. Definitely looks good. I don't know if it's because of my skin prep routine, but my skin looks really, really good for four hours after the fact, especially given in mind that I have oily skin. So if you're someone who follows me and you use me as a skin reference, definitely check out Shade. It is still available. This is it for me. Thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, let me know what you think in the comments. I love you and I'll see you guys in another video. Bye.